A judge has jailed a Sudanese teen for four years over two jewellery shop robberies where staff were terrorised for watches and gold. The court heard he was recruited to commit the crimes on his 18th birthday with the promise he'd be paid with girls and hotel rooms. Crime reporter Alexis Daish. Armed thugs terrorising innocent people for their loot. One of those committing this robbery on July 7 last year in Sydney Road was Maker Mayum, an 18-year-old from Sudan who was on bail and, in the words of the judge, with a full-blown ice habit. Today he was sentenced to four years jail, described as a major player in the crime, which ended with members of the public tackling him to the ground. I was shocked lost my voice. His crime spree started 90 minutes earlier at Rosa Adler's watch shop in Russell Street. Mayum and two accomplices stole $70,500 worth of stock from her business of 30 years. I started to smack him in the, in the back and I asked him, why are you doing that one for me? If you need something, just ask me nicely and I give. The court heard Mayum was recruited to commit the crimes on his 18th birthday in return for hotel rooms and girls. He was described as having general resistance towards authority and close affiliation with the street gang culture. In sentencing him to jail, Judge Gaynor said, I'm sorry, you pushed it too far. But Mayum's accomplice, Akon Mawien, walked from the county court, his sentence postponed for 12 months. What about the victims who we've heard were terrorised. Would you like to say that you're sorry? The court heard their second victim remains scared to this day that he'll be targeted again and so now closes his jewellery shop at 4pm. He fled the Syrian war with his wife and two children three years ago and was hoping for a safer life here in Australia. The court heard he said the loud destruction of the thick glass door almost made my heart stop out of fear as it reminded me of the sound of bullets that I used to fear might strike my family when we lived in Aleppo. Tough a penalty. Yes. Alexis Daesh, Nine News. A judge has apologised to a Sudanese teenager for jailing him over a terrifying jewellery store robbery. Another member of the gang walked free despite pleading guilty, much to the anger of his traumatised victims. Akon Mawian has been given a second chance. If the 18-year-old behaves himself for the next 12 months, he'll avoid jail. He pleaded guilty to armed robbery after he and two other teenagers raided a city watch repair business and a Coburg jewellery store on the same day in July last year. Rosa Adler is one of his traumatised victims. I'm always scared, definitely. They smashed cabinets with sledgehammers in the Coburg store and terrorised staff. The pair was tackled by brave onlookers. Despite his part in the robbery, Mawian was described as talented, respectful and remorseful. The court heard he tried ice for the second time ever on the day he agreed to the robbery and if it wasn't for the drug, he wouldn't have been involved. County Court Judge Liz Gaynor said the shocking offending was out of character. On the other hand, Mawian's 18-year-old friend and co-accused, Maker Mayum, was on bail at the time and had a daily ice habit. The court heard Mayum was familiar with the Apex gang but wasn't a member himself. He was deemed unacceptable for the youth justice system and will spend the next four years in adult prison with a minimum of two. The judge apologised. I'm sorry, she said. I don't enjoy sentencing someone your age to adult jail, but you pushed it too far. The victims believe both sentences don't go far enough. This is the judge who is too soft. Melina Cyrus, 7 News.